Hello people, this is HMS Doc, and for those who don't know, I'll do a little bit of commentaries and cheer you all up at the end of it by playing a song on acoustic guitar and singing at the end of it. So, this video is based, our theme for today is, let's just turn that down because it's deafening me, um, <laughs> the theme for today is Guns With No Bullets, and the song kind of kicks into that and I think everybody on this game so far has had the same sort of problems where it seems like you're shooting people with like half a clip, three quarters of a clip or a full clip sometimes and you're not getting your kill. That's obviously a huge problem and frustration to everybody and what it comes down to is basically connections and peer-to-peer -peer problems. The, the game has suffered more probably than Black Ops but the only difference is on Black Ops it's all in our head on this game Infinity Ward or what's left of Infinity Ward have turned around and said that it actually is a problem and they are trying to sort it that is the only reason why I put this video up that guy if you just missed that just back it up just like 30 seconds and just listen to that guy <laughs> fucking prick that is just epic. I mean, what happens is, I'm just going to spray off subject what I was just on about. I don't know how I'll ever remember what I was just talking about, but... When you're in party mode and playing with your friends and stuff like that, you're, you're not going to be hearing, like, the comms of the guys that you kill. And I didn't realise this until I started playing Team Deathmatch, a way to try and find a way to get away from lag and stuff like that. Have a little bit of fun running around being a dick. And... That guy, when he went, you're a fucking prick. I was like, did that? Was that on the other team? Was that one of my guys in on my team? <laughs> and obviously it wasn't. It was it was him. Anyway, I mean, it's a great thing. I, I think he was been on other games and stuff like that. But um, it's a, there's a lot to be said. I mean, we we went into before using party chat on this game. We we have tried the the, the comms online and I don't know whether they still like it but there was a robotic feel about it which was pretty funny pretty entertaining and that's probably the only reason why I put this video up because it's not very entertaining as, as, as such but it's very what I'm going to do is a little bit of um, team deathmatch series where I'll bang up a few videos and just chat shit over Christmas put up a few Christmas songs so entertain people a little bit and I hope you uh, all enjoy it because that's the main thing I mean there's there's not been many things that that bring people to Call of Duty videos anymore because everybody's seen it and all do it you know, all bet it really does just it doesn't matter what people tell you how to play and do. you're gonna help yourself only when you're in a good room that's working for you or on this game it's fucking it's very rare that you're gonna get yourself into a nice tidy room where you're going to have some pretty good gameplays and that because I've found that no matter what your connection is, how it's set up and that that it's basically just broken and it's, 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 I hate to say it and, and it really it's a really damning verdict but it, it does feel spotted. broken at times that they need to do some major repairs and it feels like the guinea pigs in a sense for maybe new gen consoles and the big powerful connections that we've got now and another aspect of it is that when these consoles first came out there wasn't the connections that was around there is now so the interface is in the back the uh, modem or whatever is fitted into the back of an xbox is not powerful enough for the connections that are about to die maybe that's an issue so i, I I kind of feel like with these games now we're guinea pigs and anybody that remembers the PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3 or Xbox to Xbox 360 um, changeover, the last 12 months was appalling on every game. I just went all nasal there, it all blocked up now. Um, <laughs> that's what, what's going to happen with Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 is when they come to change these consoles over the last 12 months they're going to be making new games specifically all the top guys are going to be making games specifically for the new gen console 
and any games they do release are just going to be money makers and that's something to look out for but there's nothing you can do about it we'll still buy the games and we'll still be still be contributing to their wealth just to I, I look at it as there's a couple of things analogies that, that I've got of it and one of them is that it's such a um, crazy hits album like a band bringing out a crazy hits album just a little money maker it's kind of what happens what's all that bollocks about by the way Let's see that shit the best analogy I've heard so far about the, this game is that it's like it's like the violent husband. The one minute it's being nice to you, the next minute it's beating the shit out of you. And that, that's kind of how it goes. So, anybody that, that's looking at this game as, as something of an advance in anything, it's not going to happen. We're not going to see any type of an improvement in any of these games until the new gen console. And when that comes out, or before that comes out in the next five months, that is building up to the release everything and all the resources are going to go into that so everything we buy in that last 12 months is going to be a pile of shit you know no support no fucking help nothing I guarantee we'll have the t-boy doing the updates and the hot fixes on these games hot fixes 16 hot fixes already 17 16 17 hot fixes and about five updates get the fucking game right before you give it us anyway it's been asian mr duck keep it real people
you.